Hello, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Taz. I'm back with another video, and uh, we got another 4K Blu ray review we're going to do today. And uh, I just posted my one for the Adams family just a little while ago. Hopefully, check that out. And um, yeah, today we get from Kino Lorber the 4K Blu ray release of the 1978 remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, directed by Philip Kaufman. Screenplay by W.D. Richter, and we get an all-star cast in this movie. We get Donald Sutherland, Brooke Adams, Leonard Nimoy, Jeff Goldblum, and Veronica Cartwright. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I do have, you know, just as a comparison, I do have the, uh, the Blu-ray from Scream Factory, so, you know, we can kind of compare that a little bit. But Anyway, so, I do like... The remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, I do think it's one of the better ones that's come out. Um, I know there's probably more that I'm not thinking of, but right off, <clears throat> right off the bat, I'm thinking of the four uh, versions of Invasion of the Body Snatchers that um, that I can think of, and uh, I need the original. Um, I need the original one with Kevin McCarthy. I don't have that one yet, and uh, Carolyn Jones. I need that one. But uh, I do have this now. This is an upgrade. You just saw it, you know, upgrade from the Screen Factory Blu-ray. And uh, let's see here. I do have the, uh, on Blu-ray, I do have the uh, Abel Ferrara film um, Body Snatchers with Meg Tilly. That's a good one, too. And, uh, yes, I even do have the uh, the Nicole Kidman, Daniel Craig movie, The Invasion, which it's just another version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. But, uh this one here, out of all of them, this one's the better remake to go with. And it really is a good movie. Very well made, very suspenseful, very well paced. Um, I have read the uh, I have read the book, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, by Jack Finney, I believe the, the writer's name was. Um, let's see. Yeah, Jack Finney, the author. I did read the book a while back, and uh, if you want to know which movie version is probably the closest adaptation to... Um, the book, it would be the original one with Kevin McCarthy, but uh, this is not bad either. You know, it just, it doesn't follow the book exactly, but it does, you know, it definitely does kind of follow the same kind of storyline in a way. Um, and uh, I think, you know, if you're watching this, I think you already know what the, what the story is about. You know, it's a, it's an, it's an alien invasion. When people go to sleep, they get taken over by these pods. These pods grow replicas of us and they look like us, they talk like us, but they don't really act like us. They, you know, they don't have the same emotions. And um, a small group of, of uh, people in this movie, in this movie, it's, you know, Donald Sutherland, Brooke Adams, Jeff Goldblum, and, and uh, Veronica Cartwright. They start realizing like, yeah, something's, you know, really wrong. People are not, you know, you know, people are not uh, acting like themselves. Something's, you know, happening. And then they start to realize like they can't go to sleep because if they go to sleep, they'll be taken over. Now, you know, the, um, this one here, it is, it is creepy and atmospheric, but I will say that, uh, honestly, I would highly recommend reading the book. The book is very, very, the, it's very scary the way it's written. It's very well, well done. Um, the original movie is pretty creepy too, but I don't know, just something about the book has a more eerie feel to it. And, uh, I would highly recommend, you know, I know this is really in the channel for books, but I would say, you know, if you get a chance, definitely read the book. The book is worth it. But uh, yeah, so this is a good uh, this is a good copy, and personally, in my opinion, it's not really a gigantic upgrade from the Screen Factory Blu-ray. I would say you know if you're not really interested in 4K, but just if you're wondering if you know the Screen Factory Blu-ray is worth keeping, I would say it is. I would say yeah, go ahead and keep it because you know um, pretty much um, all the bonus features on here are just basically transported from this anyway. Um, the picture quality on the 4K looks really good. Kino Lorber did a really good job with the transfer. Um, the sound is pretty good. Uh, let's see here. You do get uh, Dolby Vision. You get DTS uh, surround sound. And, um, yeah, you get the subtitles and everything. But, uh, hmm. but yeah, in my personal opinion, yeah, I do think that the, the 4K transfer is really well done. And it is a good upgrade. And I think it's worth the money. But that's only if you really, you know... If you're just kind of a casual fan of this movie, I would say, you know, just stick with this and you'd be just fine. So, but, um, yeah, the, um, you know, the picture quality, you know, in my opinion, is a little bit sharper. Um, you know, 
there's a lot of dark, you know, dark kind of darkly lit nighttime scenes in this movie, and I think that the, you know, the 4K kind of really, you know, like brings out the, the contrast. But um, so, what do we have for bonus features? Well, like I said, pretty much all the bonus features from the Screen Factory Blu-ray are imported onto this. We have audio commentary by director Philip Coffin, audio commentary by author, film historian Stephen Haberman. Star-Crossed in the Invasion, interview with actress Brooke Adams. Recreating the Invasion, uh, interview with screenwriter W.D. Richter. Scoring the Invasion, uh, interview with uh, composer Denny Zeitlin. Uh, leading the Invasion, interview with actor Art Hindle. Um, writing the Pod, interview with Jack Finney expert uh, Jack Seabrook. Uh, Revisitors from Outer Space or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Pod featurette. Uh, Practical Magic, the special effects pod featurette, The Man Behind the Scream, the sound effects pod featurette, The Invasion Will Be Televised, the cinema cinematography pod featurette, TV spots, radio spots, and theatrical trailers. So pretty much just about everything that's on here has been, um, let's see. Okay, yeah, there are, okay, there is one thing. You do have the episode of Science Fiction Theater, Time is Just a Place, based on Jack Benny's short story directed by Jack Arnold. So that's on the Screen Factory. It's not on this. Uh, looks like just about everything else is imported. So, But anyway, so yeah, I mean, also too, that'd be a reason to keep the Screen Factory Blu-ray just in case you, you know. But anyway, so uh, still, I like this. I'm glad I got it. And, um, you know, you do get the slipcover, which my Screen Factory Blu-ray doesn't have the slipcover, but I was lucky to get the slipcover with the 4K, so... And it's kind of basic, you know, looks about the same as the back cover. So, you know, so you're not really getting anything different. Typical Kino Lorber fashion, the, uh, the disc art is pretty much the, exactly the same. I'm trying to turn these around so you can see them. But I think you get the idea. So, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately on the, oh, wait a minute. No, you do get, I'm sorry, I forget, you do get reversible cover art. I just now noticed that. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Yeah. It's always cool. You know, any collector will tell you, whether they're DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K collectors will tell you. One thing that is, like, the most fun thing in the world is when you can get a movie where, you know, you can get different cover art on the disc or on the sleeve, and you can get different cover art on the slip cover. Just about any... Um, Movie collector will tell you that it's always fun when you can get reversible cover art. So, and this one looks pretty good. So, matter of fact, let's see. Let's do a comparison of the the other one from Screen Factory. And let's see. We have this one. That's the Screen Factory. This is the. Oh no! I'm kind of having a hard time. I think I might like the Kino Lorber cover a little bit better. But still, they're pretty good. So. But anyway, yeah, just in terms of uh, sound quality, the sound quality is good. Um, I think if you have a good sound system in your home, you know, you'll do just fine. Um, picture quality, like I said, I personally think that the, you know, I personally think that the 4K is definitely worth the upgrade, but uh, that's, but I think this is definitely going to be, you know, if you've already got this, the only reason you're going to upgrade to this is because you're a diehard fan of this movie, and, but, um, I would definitely recommend say yeah go ahead and pick this one up it's worth it in my opinion so yeah i think that's uh, pretty much going to be it so if anybody took the time to watch this i thank you for doing it i appreciate you for doing it i also hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a like if you haven't already go and subscribe to my channel hopefully there's going to be plenty more content coming your way and you know get some good videos out and everything for people to enjoy and that's it so uh everybody take care have a good night and i'll see you later